Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, I gave you a glimpse of what we can do with this robot dog, right? In this video, I'll be going through how we can program and control the robot using Arduino IDE. If you haven't gone through my previous video where I explain about this robot dog, please go through that as that would be really good for you to understand this video. And for your information, Beetle is now available in different configurations, colors, along with different sensor modules which can be attached to Beetle. You can purchase from different platforms, so if you want one, I will share the link in the description. And recently, they released Beetle V2, which is a coarse down version of Beetle. Compared to Beetle V1, the stem kit consists of plastic gear servo motors instead of metal ones, and thus making it lighter and more flexible with different movements. It is more suitable for general STEM educations and those who want to enjoy some fun robotics. You can hardly tell any difference between the appearance of V1 and V2 except for the colors of the servo wires. Also, our viewers will get additional discount price if you purchase from the link below. So make sure you check it out. As I mentioned earlier, we'll be using Arduino IDE to calibrate, program and control the robot. So the first thing we need is Arduino IDE. You can easily download this software from their official website. Go to that website, go to the download page, choose the type of download you want and make sure you are downloading the latest version and simply download the software. For this tutorial, I will be downloading the compressed version of the software so that I don't have to install it on my computer. And we can directly run it from the folder itself. Once you have downloaded it, simply run this executable file and make sure it is working properly. The next thing you need is all these OpenCAD files in this GitHub repository. This contains all the sample sketch, supporting files and the configuration that you can use to calibrate and configure and also program our Beetle robot using Arduino IDE. Once you download the file, copy and paste the whole folder somewhere and extract the file. It would be clean if you rename the folder like this. Just remove the main. Inside the OpenCAD folder, you should be able to see this opencat.ino file, right? Simply open the file using Arduino IDE. Now, on the hardware side, you have to make sure that all the servo motors are connected to the right port of the motherboard. For that, you can check the documentation and connection diagrams that is available in Pitoy documentation. Also, you have to make sure that the battery has adequate charge in order to perform the calibration. Also, it is not necessary to screw all the legs to the body of the robot at this point. All that matters is that the body and the motherboard should be lying flat on a perfectly flat table. At this point, you can connect the program downloader to the board and the other end of the USB port to your computer. Now, if you check the device manager of your computer, you should be able to see an additional COM port right here. And this is our programmer. Now, all you have to do is open up opencat.ino file using Arduino IDE. The first and foremost thing that we need to do is calibrate the IMU and do some initial calibrations. In order to do that, the first thing you need to do is select which robot you are having right here in this section. We are having this Beetle robot, right? So we'll be uncommenting this part and we'll be commenting the nibble part. Now. In order to do the initial calibrations to the IMU, first we will comment this line right here. Now simply select the right port and select the board as Arduino Uno and upload the code. And now it's uploaded and once the code is uploaded, simply open the serial monitor. Here you should be able to see some things like this. But don't worry about this guys, this is the board doing all the initial calibrations. If you are seeing some unusual characters, something that's not making sense, you don't have to worry about that because it could be because of the incorrect board rate which we can easily change it from here. Make sure to keep the board and everything in the flat surface and proceed with the setup. Once that is done, the board will do a set of operations and do the initial calibration and save all the values inside the motherboard. Once this part is done, we can upload our main code. In order to do that, Simply open the same sketch and uncomment this line right here and simply upload the code like we did earlier. Once the code is uploaded, simply open the serial monitor and from now on you should be able to control a robot dog using serial commands. 
I will also show you how you can calibrate and set servo motors to offset values in order to do calibrations and set all the robot legs to 90 degree. In order to do that, simply open up the serial monitor and send the command C. This will set the robot in the calibration mode. In the calibration mode, all the servo motors will be set in a particular position. And at this point, you have to connect all the leg parts together in this 90 degree configuration. And you don't have to worry about if the legs are not in 90 degree configuration as we will be able to make fine adjustments using serial monitor. Once you have connected all the screws, your robot should be looking like this. Now, you can use this L-shaped tuner in order to make fine adjustments to the servo motor position using serial monitor. Let me show you how we can do that. Let's say we have a small mismatch in this leg right here. Here, you can see that the legs are not positioned in 90 degree position, right? Now, put the tuner here like this and we can confirm that there is a mismatch so we need to make changes to the offset angle of this servo motor right here. In this robot, we have a number for each servo motors and you will get this number from the documentation right here. And from the documentation, the number associated with this servo motor is 12, right? And we need to make fine adjustments to servo motor 12 and in order to do that, simply send a command like C12-5 through the serial monitor and that will turn the servo motor 5 degree. And if you need to reverse the direction of the offset, simply send the command like C12-5 and that will rotate the servo motor shaft to minus 5 degree. And this way, we should be able to configure all the servo motors in this robot. Once the calibration is done, you can send S in order to save all the offset value and you're done. This is how we calibrate all the motors in our robot. Now, we can start controlling the robot using serial commands. For that, there are so many different options. First, we'll be using Arduino IDE to control our robot. For that, simply open the serial monitor and send commands to walk or crawl or do other actions. This robot already have a set of skills predefined, so we can first start with those skills. In order to enable a skill, you can send a command with the character K. For example, if you want the board to say hi, you can send the command K hi. If you want to make the robot do push-ups, simply send the command K pu. There are mainly three types of skills that are predefined. One is for moment or gate, one is for poster, one is for behavior. You will see a list of all the serial commands that you can send to your robot in this document page right here. When you are sending it a movement or a gate command, make sure you are sending it a direction as well. So that was easy, right? Now, if you are familiar with Python, you can have a lot of fun with Biddle as well. You can calibrate, control and play with Ptoy with Python. There are plenty of Python scripts with which we can send serial commands to Bittle. Check out the documentation here and learn how to control Bittle with Python. Also guys, make sure you follow Ptoy's official social media pages as you will be able to get a lot of updates and news on new products and features. So guys, bye for now. See you in the next video.